Hey guys! Hello! Just bringing you the third question in Mastering Engineering. So, hey, check this out. I'm actually moving the paper right now. Like, it's rotating on the table, but never mind. Okay, so this question is one about relative velocities. Now, this is very, very, very similar to Physics 12. If you have the ability of extrapolating the knowledge you already have about relative velocities a little bit further than normal, should be able to do this question with just a little bit of critical thinking without having to actually do the pre-reading. But I'm just going to give you the explanation anyways in terms of how the pre-reading did it. Like if you did the pre-reading and using their notation. Uh, I originally did it the Physics 12 method and got the same answer but you know it's just I use different notation that way so I'm just going to write everything in the notation of the textbook so people don't get confused. So Let's get our diagram down. We got a row. Oh yeah, beautiful row. What a beautiful row. Okay, we got our car here. Car A. It's going at some velocity. And here it has a radius of 100 meters. And it makes, and at some angle here of beta. Next, we have car B here, going at some velocity B with some acceleration. And we're also told that A has no tangential acceleration. So again, reviewing why I'm not actually giving any numbers it is because I don't want people to get confused with different numbers. I'm just going to derive the general solution for this. So, let's move on. So, the equation for this, really, that all you really need to know is first, let's get our axis down. So this I'm going to label as the y-axis. And this I'm going to label as the x-axis. Now I haven't drawn them solidly because they're not actually my, like that point right there is not my origin. I'm not going to use it as my origin. I'm not even going to use a origin. It doesn't matter. It's just there so I can reference the vectors I'm going to be using. And yes, this can only be done with vector analysis. So if you don't know your Cartesian vectors, go review them. And if there's enough of you who don't know them, I'll make a video on it. If enough people say, give an explanation for Cartesian vector, we don't know how to do it. Okay, so just getting reminding you guys what the unit vectors are. I is here. J is there. So those are our unit vectors. Now, the magical equation that you need to know for this is that V A equals V of B plus V of A with respect to B. Oh, yeah, right. They ask you for uh, V of B. They say, what is V of A in respect to B? That's the question. So, that's the magical equation. Now, it might be a bit tricky to remember what order it's in. Like, you know, like, what goes here, what goes here, blah, blah, blah. The way I always remember it is, whatever is relative velocity is always added to something. So, like, relative velocity is never going to be on its own. And it makes a sandwich. See? B, B, and the A is sandwiched in the middle between the Bs. And whatever is in the middle of the sandwich is what's alone on the left side of the equation. That's how I remember it. So I'm going to be writing all of these in Cartesian vector form. So let's start with the easy one, which is V of B. So V of B equals... That's easy, it's just BB. Yeah, it's I. <laughs> the zero in the J direction. V of A is a tad bit more complicated, but it's nothing we can deal with, but nothing that we can't deal with because we're awesome. So I'm going to do my little zoom in the circle here.
So, you know, you can see what's in that drawer in a little clearer because I'm sorry, I'm a very shitty drawer. Art, being an artist is never really my thing. So, for simplicity purpose, I'm going to simplify the box A, which is already simplified enough from a car, into a dot. Dot. So, here we know that the radius, to some point, doesn't really matter what point, is 100 meters. And then we're given the angle here, beta. Now, the point of zooming in here is because we want to find the angle that this velocity here makes with the horizontal. So we want to find this. Now, my it's not centered like my zoom circle. I'm just going to extend my zoom circle here. Uh, that line never existed. It never happened. If you don't know about it, it never happened. So, if we take this velocity vector here and we just treat it as a line and just extend it, extend this, we can see that this makes a right triangle because this is tangential velocity and this is radius pointing in the middle of the circle. So we know this is 90. And because of horizontal lines, we know that these two lines are parallel. So, by co-interior angles, we know this angle and this angle have to add up to 180 degrees. Right? So this angle here has to add up with beta to equal 90 because this right angle here already accounts for 90 degrees of the 180 so we're only left with 90 so this is 90 minus beta all right so move it on over. sorry I don't really like that song I don't quite understand why I'm singing it V of A ends up with a triangle on this side with velocity a this way the angle 90 minus beta so this direction since these are going to give us our absolute values we have to actually account for direction so the x value this the x component of the variable is going to be going in the negative direction so negative and then this is going to be VA times cos of the angle right boom I forgot to put the lines through my zero there we go so that e minus beta this is in the I direction. And I'm running out of room here because my triangle is intruding. So I'm just going to keep writing this down here. And the V and the Y direction, or the J direction, is positive because it's going up. So this is just going to be positive V A sine 90 minus beta in the J direction. There we go. So go back up to our red equation. We are going to isolate for V of A relative to B, which is easy enough to do. Which is just V A minus V B. Fair enough. Which is also another way to remember it. You know, v relative to A is V A minus V B. V relative V of B relative to A is going to be V B minus V A. That's another way to remember it as well. So now we're just going to plug in what we know. Negative VA plus 90 minus beta I plus VA sine 90 minus beta J minus I love a bump there. Minus V B I plus zero J. This is going to equal since you're subtracting V B from this, I'm just gonna factor out the negative. And we're gonna get V A goes V minus beta plus V B 
i plus since this the, the y direction there is just zero, we're gonna get v a sine ninety minus beta in the j direction. There we go, and that's gonna be our Cartesian vector for velocity, which is what they should have prompted, except they want the magnitude. The magnitude of v a b. This is gonna be all d squared. So be a long expression. It's going to be V A plus 90 minus beta plus V B squared plus V A sine 90 minus beta squared. Ah, we're not a little bit, but yep. There we go. And we know VA, we know VB, and we know beta. So there we have our velocity of A relative to B, or speed, technically speaking, related in an equation with everything that we are given. So that is our answer to part A.